Hello all, welcome to Rupa's online tutorials. Today I am going to tell you about the SQL practical programs 1 and 2. I am going to tell you about, explain to you about the commands. It's a very easy program. Uh, though the output, uh, though in your book it is given along with your output and looks lengthy, it is not so. If you write these commands in your paper, you are sure to get the full marks. And if you are lucky enough and you are asked to execute the same program, you can easily score 14 marks from these programs. All the best for your exams and uh, let us start with the explanation of the first program. The first program is to generate the electricity bill. So the question is to create a, a table for generating the electricity bill, the fields are given uh, given here. The fields that you have are uh, uh, RR number, uh, which is of the data type varchar2. Varchar2 stands for variable character. That is, you are going to take a string, a group of characters. So, 10 characters is the length of the string. Customer name, which is also a varchar2 data type. Billing date is date. And units is the number of units consumed for that particular month. So it is of the type number. So if it is given here in this uh, as uh, four, like if it is given there as four in your uh, book, okay, you can also just put here four or three or whatever is given there in the question. Please make a note of that. So now coming to this, uh, uh, this commands. The first command is to create a table. So uh, the create table, create is the name of the command and uh, table you have to use, create table. For all the DDL commands, create, alter and drop, the command should be create table and then the table name. So the table name here given is ebill. Okay. So remember table name is ebill here and then we start with the open brackets and then we have to just write whatever is given here in this particular table. So this will be given in your question. So you just have to write here create table. The name of the table given here is ebill. So please remember throughout this program ebill is the name of the table and then you have to just write whatever is given here in this field. The same thing has to be typed here. And then you should end it with a bracket and a semicolon. So this is the command for create table. Next, we need to insert the values in this table. So you might have learned in your uh, uh, SQL lesson uh, that we are drawing the RDBMS table in the form of rows and columns. So now we have created this table, RR number, and then you have the name, and then you have the date and the units. Now we need to fill it in with the data. So how are you going to fill in with the data? So for that purpose, we are using the insert command. So how do we use the insert command? We say insert into ebill. So here ebill is the name of the table, as I told you earlier, values. So these are all the keywords that you have to remember. Insert into ebill values. And what are the values? Values can be given by the user. It is user can give any values you want. You need not by heart the values from what is given in your book. So here I've given uh, for RR number as E101, uh, for customer name as Arun and billing date as 23rd March and uh, the unit says 46. So you can you have to remember here whenever you are using a uh, uh, varchar2, you are using a single quotes. Again here you have to use it within the single quotes and for the date also single quotes. And for number you should not put any quotes. So these are some of the things you should need to remember while writing. Next, we need to describe the structure of this table. The structure of this particular table evil, it is just DSE. DESC stands for describe. DESC evil, the name of the table. So once I say DESC evil, you will get the same set of description of whatever is available here that you will get it as an output. So please write the output. Once you get this on the screen, write the output on your answer sheet. Write the output on your answer sheet. Let us go to the next command. 
The next command is to add the bill amount and due date. So to add the bill amount and due date, this also will be given to you. This also will be there in the question. Okay, the bill amount and due date. So you can just write this uh, particular command. So as I said, for the DDL commands, you have to remember that we start with alter table, create table, like that alter table. The name of the table here is ebill. And you can see the question itself, add is given. So you have to write an add here. And then write bill amount number 6, 2. So this will be given in the question. We just need to write this. Alter table e bill add due date date. So here we are going to alter the table. So again if you are going to use this command. Say describe e bill. So you will be getting the all the 6 fields instead of the 4 fields which was displayed earlier. This is just to check whether this is being added or not. After that, you have to do some calculations. So here we are having two, uh, three calculations actually, one, two, and three. One, they say the bill amount, if the minimum amount is 50 rupees, that is you are going to use the electricity or not, you are to pay 50 rupees, okay? And then if it is, if the units is less than 100, you will get it as four rupees, 25 paisa per unit. And if it is greater than 100, it is five rupees, 50 paisa per unit unit so you need to calculate accordingly so now what is the condition here the first is that minimum amount should be the bill amount should be calculated so here if you say the bill amount minimum amount is going to be 50 rupees and let us say the first case the units that the user has given is less than 100 because first we are taking this case so if it is less than 100 let us say he has given uh, units of say 70 rupees then what is per unit money? Per unit is 4 rupees 25 paisa. So it is 4.25 into that units, that is 70 units. What is the condition when it is less than 100? So this is what we are written here. So update evil. Update is used to change any of the records. Always remember update keyword is used to change the records. And whenever you use the keyword update, we have to use the keyword set also here. Okay. So update evil. Evil is as I said, it's a table name. Set bill amount is equal to 50. Why? Because it's a minimum amount plus units into 4 rupees 25 paisa in this case what is the units that i have taken i have taken 70 units so 70 into 4 rupees 25 paisa i have taken 70 you may take a different number so in general we are writing units into 4 rupees 25 paisa where units is less than 100 so i hope you understood this calculation the next one is greater than 100 that means in the second case if the units is let us say the units is equal to say 120 now for the first 100 units we have said that the money is how much 4 rupees 25 paisa but the rest of the units rest of the units how do i calculate i have to do 120 minus 100 so this is how much this is 5.5 rupees so i cannot pay the whole uh, money no i cannot say like for 120 i'm going to pay 5 rupees 50 paisa i have to reduce my cost also am i paying the money so I have to pay for 100, for 100 units 4 rupees 25 paisa. The balance 20 units I have to pay 5 rupees 50 paisa. So for this, how do I write the uh, uh, statement? So the SQL statement for this, how do I write? So this I'll have to first what I have to write? I have to write 50 rupees which is the minimum amount plus for the 100 units it is how much it is 4 rupees 25 paisa and for the rest of the unit that is 120 minus 100 120 is what units so units minus 100 how much is it it is 5 rupees 50 paisa at what condition when the units is greater than 100 so hope so you understood this particular calculation so this is what is it and the next one is to compute and display the due date as billing date plus 15 days. This is very easy. It is given in the question itself. You just have to write update ebill, which is the table name. Okay. Set billing date is equal to bill date plus 50. Okay. So this is how it works. And last to show the output, the finally you have to generate the output. So you have to say select star from ebill. So this is, once you get this output, whatever you are getting, please write that in your uh, book, in your uh, paper, sorry. In your paper, you write it and you can submit it to your 
invigilators. I hope you understood this particular program. Uh, we will go to the next one, the next SQL program, the second one. The second program is very easy. It is just to create a student database and compute the result. So here also the, uh, they would have given this particular table already to you. So here first to create the table as in the last case, we have to create the table using the create table command. So we start with create the keyword, then we write table and then the table name. So the table name here, in this case, I have taken it as class. You can take any table name you want, but then remember to use the same table name throughout your program. So this is the general structure for create table. Here, we just need to write the same thing what is given in your uh, question. We just need to fill in the question here. And next, we have to insert these values. Again, as I told you, you can just check where care is here. So this has to have the single quotes like this rest of it are all just numbers so it has to be in the same order here one represents the roll number uh, arun represents the name and all these are the subject marks which the student has got so here we need to actually calculate the total and find out the how many students have passed and failed that's what the question is about so here when you are entering these marks see that you enter some marks which are less than 35 so that uh, you are able to display some students who have failed okay so the next part of this question is again describe the structure of the class so you have to describe the structure of this particular class they don't give you they give you this from the structure of the table so it's just mentioned as class table so here itself is the command desc so you just write desc and the name of the table okay the table name so in the previous one we had evil in this you will write it as class okay the can you have to calculate the total and the percentage so for that first you need to alter the table alter table you have to add these fields that is total these fields should you should remember this command total then the percentage and the result these fields should be added here if you see the percentage here is given as six comma two why because it can have a decimal value so two decimal places will be given in your percentage so that 6 comma 2 is given and then you need to set the total. So this I think it's very easy because you would have got, uh, calculated the total for your own marks, isn't it? Six subject marks. So subject 1, subject 2, subject 3, subject 4, subject 5 and subject 6. Later you need to again update. I told you in the earlier one also update means change and whenever we use the word update you should use the word set and class is the table name. So if you just learn this structure and then use it it's very easy and now what you need to update you have to calculate the percentage percentage is what total divided by six because there are six subjects here okay it is total by 600 into 100 so it gets cancelled so just given total by six so once you calculate the total and percentage you should display the result whether the student has passed or not again we are using the same update command update class set but what are we what is the change that we are going to do the result what is the result we are going to say result is equal to path now it's a string so that's why it's put in single quotes where in with what condition is that person has passed when his marks is greater than or equal to 35 so we have put an and here and a greater than and equal to okay so if the condition is met that is in all the subjects he has got greater than and equal to 35 then we are going to display the result as pass Okay, and the next result that we need to set is set the result equal to fa fail where the subject marks are less than 35. So, if any of the marks is going to be less than 35, then we have to set the result as fail. Okay, this is also important. Here, each of it uh, will be evaluated while giving the marks. So, please learn. It's very easy. Uh, this is a common thing which we have been doing uh, in for our uh, total and percentage. So it's an easy program, though it looks lengthy, it's a very easy program, just go through it. And then we have to query, now we have to display this result, who has passed and who has failed. So the query uh, command is select, select star from class, star means all the fields are selected from the table, okay, where result is equal to pass. So whoever has passed, their results will be displayed, you need to write this output on your paper again select star from class where the result is equal to fail so here also 
you have to write the output and this is a general output i've just given the contents of the table so you can just write all the both pass and fail will be displayed here okay so this these are the set of commands that you need to learn uh, for your practicals uh, hope so it is easy any queries you can post it in the comments thank you and once again all the best for your exams